Welcome into PicksWise 2022-2023 NBA preview as we go over several different markets for you guys to make a wager on. We'll double up on two of them here with our sixth man of the year and our most improved player. He is Prop Holiday, a.k.a. Bobby Stanley. I'm Mark Zinno. Thanks for joining us here. Bobby, let's start with your sixth man because it's a pick that a lot of people in my neck of the woods are going to be very excited about. Yeah, shocked I got these odds, but Bogdan Bogdanovich of the Atlanta Hawks at 46 to 1 to be sixth man of the year. Now, he averaged 17 points per game as a bench guy last season in 36 games. He shot 43%, 37%. He was plus five points per game better coming off the bench. I think it's a really good spot for him now that the backcourt of the Hawks has DeJounte Murray and, uh, and uh, Trey Young. If I look at this, when Trey Trey Young probably isn't going to come off the floor. DeJounte Murray will. When Trey comes off the floor, he can become more of that distributor role, and we can see Bogdanovich really lead that second team. There's no reason he can't get to 18 points per game, 17 points per game in that six-man role. That's generally what you need to get to hit that six-man. I think we saw it with Tyler Hero last year. So at 46-1, I was shocked to see this, but I, I like him in this new role for the Hawks. Look, I can't can't argue. He'll have plenty of opportunities to be good from around the perimeter and take three pointers there. There'll be a lot of space as Deontay Murray will create some of that because he's more of a, you know, jump shooter than necessarily a three point shooter. But I like where your head is with it. It's going to be very enticing to watch Bogey here in Atlanta and what he does in the offense. I'm going back to back. I, I can't not back Tyler Harrow here. I mean, what's the reason to believe that the Miami Heat are going to be any less than the top four seed in the East? I don't necessarily know that I have one. They're great defensively. They're very complete offensively. And after you get past Jimmy Butler and uh, and Kyle Lowry, you have him right off the bench supplementing all the scoring. And because Miami continues to fly under the radar here, Bobby, I look at them and I go, okay, well, if they can get top four with Boston, Milwaukee, Philadelphia, what's the reason to think again that he's not going to be a big part of that. So I back Tyler Hero for back-to-back -back here in the most improved oh, – six man of the year, rather, uh, in 2022-2023. Let's go over to most improved. Uh, an interesting pick for you in a new location. Where are you going? Uh I like Tyrese Halliburton, 25 yeah. to 1 is my most improved player now that he's with Indiana. Now, big thing for this, Malcolm Brogdon leaves to go join the Boston Celtics. So we're going to see Halliburton's usage rate go through the roof. He's really going to be all this team has. They're likely going to be tanking for one by Yana. Um, he averaged 17, 9, and 4 post All-Star break. I think he can make a big jump. I'm talking 20 plus, 9, uh, nine assists maybe four, five, six rebounds. If he can make that ascension to in the conversation as an all-star, which is going to be tough on this Pacers team, but if he makes that jump, I think we're talking most improved player for Tyrese Halliburton. I still can't believe the Kings let him go for what they did. Uh, if we look at the other top players in this, uh, you know, in contention for this, Anthony Everett's probably going to go from what, 21 to 24 points per game. That doesn't really get it done for me. Um, and uh, if I look at his other stats, I think it's going to take a hit with Gobert in the rebounding column. So I, I like Tyrese Halliburton. I like it at 25 to 1. I'm excited to see him get his own team. Where I'm going is a guy that may garner votes in another area. As you talked about in one of our other previews, uh, Zion Williamson is your long shot for MVP. Well, I don't think he'll get there because he's got too many guys in front of him who have sort of gotten in the line, so to speak, for MVP. Where does that leave him next? His most improved player coming off the injuries hasn't really had any consistent NBA time since he's been drafted. If he comes out this year and plays as well as you think he can possibly to be the MVP at 18 to one, Bobby, I mean, the, the, the natural yeah. next step for him is to be awarded most improved player. This almost feels like he should be the leader in, 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 as far as yeah. odds are concerned. He should be the favorite. I can't believe this number is as big as it is for Zion at most improved player. And after seeing what John Morant did last year, it's kind of, I guess, the direction of where this award's going. The only thing that scared me about Zion is he played damn good as a sophomore. 27 and 7 are really good numbers. How much yeah. more can he pile on top of that? And is that jump big enough to, to designate most improved well, players? Well, I would, we're I both would argue if he, if he makes his team better, if they make the playoffs again, That's right, it. if they get out of that play room, that I think is what really catapults him in this market is simply if the team ends up being better uh, and beyond. And part of the reason, look, in reality, part of the reason they made the playoffs last year is because it's like San Antonio quit. And, you know, it was just almost like a war of attrition for them to make that 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 play in tournament. But I think this year they reassert themselves. I'm with you. So interesting numbers, to say the least, 
on Zion Williamson. That'll do it for our six-man and most improved player. Nominations here for our bets for 2022-2023 in the NBA. He's Bobby Stanley. I'm Mark Zinno. Make sure you go to PicksWise.com for more information.